welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I will be testing out something really exciting and it's the iHeart Revolution Donuts. I got this from my sister when I was in the Netherlands and we saw it and we immediately thought, oh my God, we have to test this out. They had a few different colors. Uh, I obviously went for the pink one and I think my sister, she got something more with um, uh, warm tones some oranges and uh, browns but uh, I thought let's go for the pink one if you're excited to see the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe I upload every Wednesday and Saturday a brand new video and of course I also have an Instagram where you can follow me and now let's get started with the video. So like I said, I went for the pink one because um, obviously I like the look of it, but also about the colors. And I got the iHeart Revolution Raspberry Jane. Jane, I'm not really sure how it's called. I really loved the uh, shades in it because I don't have really a lot of uh, these kind of shades. It's like a few matte pinks and I don't have that. So um, yes, I was really curious about that. I love the packaging. It's also like a donut. It's really, really adorable. I also like to mention that it smells really nice as well. It's like a really sweet scent. And it's just like a donut. As you can see, it's like soft material. And then when you open it, you got your five uh, eyeshadow shades. You got three different kind of pink shades. You've got uh, a beautiful shimmery shade in the middle and also a beautiful red burgundy color. So like I said, I really love the colors because I don't have these kind of shades yet. Um, these two are matte pinks. The middle one is a really beautiful uh, shimmery shade and it's a really special color like a really different kind of shimmer. You've got a gorgeous burgundy shade which I think is perfect uh, for the winter time. I like a little bit more deep uh, tones then. And also a kind of satin finish uh, old pink shade. So I think with this little palette you can make a lot of different looks. You can make a few matte looks or shimmer or dark so um, yes I'm really curious to test this out also you got a mirror in here which is really handy if you travel or uh, if you put or if you want to put it in your bag so um, yes let's make some swatches so let's start with this pink shade it's a really soft pink shade and on my skin you can see it really well so we just have to try that out it's a little bit of a satin finish but as you can see on my skin it's almost disappearing because I'm like that pale yeah it doesn't stay really well on my skin let's see how it is on my eyes later So the darker pink one is really pigmented and it looks really pretty and on my skin you can actually see this. Yeah, it's a really pretty pink shade and I will definitely uh, go put this on my outer corner. This shade is again really pigmented and really beautiful uh, like the other pink one. So these two are definitely uh, really great and pigmented. Oh, this one is really, really pretty. It's a really special shade. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it has a gorgeous shimmer. Oh, this is my favorite, uh, definitely. And then the last shade. Oh, wow. That one is really pigmented as well. Absolutely stunning color, really. These two are my favorites for sure. So these four shades are just really pigmented. As you can see, that red one is absolutely stunning. I love this one as well. Only the first, the lighter pink shade is not that pigmented or maybe it's about my skin tone, I don't know. But definitely these four are absolutely beautiful. So um, yes, we're gonna play with some eyeshadow. Okay, so I just washed my hands and the red one was so pigmented. Um, it was quite hard to get it off. So yes, I'm gonna start off with the light pink shade right here and I will apply this in my crease. So we're gonna start off with the light pink shade and I will apply this in my crease. 
and it's a really soft pink shade because I'm like because I'm really pale I feel like you can see it really well well I don't know if the camera picks it up but you can see it I think this is a really great shade uh, for a transition shade and now I'm going in with the darker pink and I will apply this again in my crease and a little bit more uh, on the outer corner of my eye and they blend quite nicely as you can see not really patchy or anything like that and these shades are really different for me because I normally never yeah I love pink as you guys obviously know but I never wear uh, these kind of shades and look how cute that donut is really a cute mirror so I think they blended quite nicely and um, not patchy at all and um, not too heavy and not too soft I mean it's pigmented but not like in your face pigmented now I'm going to apply the shade in the middle the really beautiful shimmery shade and I got and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelids and this is really a beautiful shimmer shade as you can see and I think if you want it more intense you can maybe spray some uh, fix plus or like a uh, yeah fixing spray if you want it to be a little bit more intense and if you want it to be more soft you can just apply it like this I don't know if you can see it and I don't know if the camera picks it up but like the shimmer is a really special shimmer it's not like a normal shimmer but it has a um, how do you call it in English we say Paramour, it's like a little bit of a um, pearl, pearl kind of uh, shimmer, I don't know if that makes sense. Then I'm going to apply also this one in the outer corner. And also a little bit underneath my eye. I think I'm not going to apply the red one because I feel like it's not really fit with the look I uh, created but uh, I will definitely use that in one of my other looks so if you like to see that one make sure you subscribe and of course I will use this one uh, in the future so now I'm going to apply some eyeliner and of course mascara and for my eyeliner I'm using the Essence liquid ink eyeliner And for my mascara, I'm using the Yves Roger Sexy Pulp Mascara. I think it's a really cute palette to have in your collection if you like to play with some fun colors. And of course the red shade, I'm really excited to try out uh, the next time. Yes, really beautiful shades, uh, quite pigmented, blend easy. So um, yes, if you're looking for some nice fun pink colors, definitely uh, check this palette out. And the price of this palette is also really reasonable. I think it is about five, six euros. So um, yes, for five shades, I think that's a really great deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and of course I also have an Instagram where you can follow me and I hope to see you guys soon in one of my other videos bye